Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy and I'm currently 16 weeks pregnant with my second baby. I already have a one-year-old called Grace and we are so excited to be expecting another baby come this December. And I guess first and foremost, I can now announce that we are expecting another girl. I'm actually so excited. So let me start with the gender. I did like a gender reveal on my Instagram, so I haven't done like a big gender reveal here as well, but we did find out um, last Friday, we went for a gender reveal scan um, privately at 16 weeks. I think I was 16 weeks and five or something like that. Um, but we have actually known the gender of the baby since about eight or nine weeks because we did a like gender reveal DNA blood test and it was sent to our home and we did it here and it's just like a pinprick test and you like put your blood in a test tube and then they test it to see whether there's any male um, DNA in your blood which would um indicate that you were carrying a male fetus well obviously the test didn't have any male blood in it um however as much as i was convinced that i was having a go anyway just because of how i've been feeling i did want to wait until we'd had the scan just to confirm so that's all confirmed now and i have to say i would have been happy either way and i do genuinely mean that because i would but I am so pleased for Grace to have a sister. I didn't have a sister growing up. I've got one brother and we are very close now. Um, now that we both have our own children, we're much closer. But growing up, we weren't really all that close at all. And I do think a big part of that is that we were, we were, we were about three years apart in age. So not a huge age gap but also he was a very boyish boy and I was a very girly girl and we didn't really have that many common interests. Whereas I think with a sister, it's just a bond that I, I can't even describe myself because I don't have it. But when people talk about their sisters and say, oh, like my sister's my best friend and um, like you've always got that like bond, haven't you? That I don't know if you necessarily have I don't, I don't know because I haven't experienced it. I've only experienced a bond with a brother, but I just feel like a sister bond is something really, really special and something that I really wanted Grace to have. So I'm really, really excited that she will get to experience that. So baby girl this week is now the size of an orange and would fit like quite neatly into the palm of my hand. Um, she is now starting to develop a lot more fat all over her body. So whereas her skin would be quite like veiny, um, up until now it's starting to be covered in a layer of fat that will obviously continue to grow until she is born. That first meconium poo has also started to develop so I look forward to seeing that at birth although I never, I don't think I changed one of the very early ones with Grace. She actually pooed on exit like all over my body so I remember that quite specifically and it was like tarry like black tar um but like by the time I was like well enough to be able to do her nappies it had like changed completely um and this time with having a c-section I imagine that I won't be doing the first nappy either so as much as I uh, enjoy growing it for my husband to change I'm sure he will enjoy changing it when she arrives so this week we went to a wedding at the weekend, which was really nice. And it's like the first wedding that we've been to since pre-COVID and pre-Grace even. I think the last one we went to, I was only a few weeks pregnant with Grace. So obviously a lot of time has passed since then. Um, and it was such a lovely day and the weather held out and it was really beautiful. But I was on my feet for a lot of the day and I found myself really struggling towards the end of the day. My bump actually felt painful and heavy underneath. And I think it was like Steve's first opportunity to be like out in the open world. Um, and he obviously had a designated driver and really thoroughly enjoyed himself. 
Um, so he was not keen on leaving at around the time that I wanted to leave. But I think you just forget how long the day is. Like it's such a long day. The wedding started at 12.30 and then we left at about 10 p.m. Obviously that's like what, nine and a half hours. Um, and I was definitely ready for bed by the time that we left, although the party could have gone on a lot longer and I'm sure it did in our absence. But yeah, I just had a really heavy feeling under my belly, like it was just sore and I could feel all my ligaments and muscles trying to support this bump that actually had just given up for the day. Um, and the next day I was so tired, like it definitely took me a whole day again to recover from it and I wasn't even drinking. So we've got a, another wedding coming up in September. I'll obviously be a little bit more pregnant by then and it's just bringing home for me how much like I'm putting my body through physically. Um, and yeah, how, how difficult it is. I saw a meme this week that said, what's something that feels like an Olympic sport that isn't? And someone had responded pregnancy and I completely agree with that. Like it is hard going growing these humans. Even I'm getting like short of breath, even just talking, like going up and down the stairs is now becoming a struggle. So on that note, this week I have finally caved and the pregnancy pillow has come out and she is supporting me. She's like a very good friend, a shoulder to cry on, a cuddle when you need one. My husband hates the pregnancy pillow. He's like, I feel like it's a border in the bed between us. And I'm like, exactly, that's why I love it. It's so cozy and comforting. So she's back and I'm very glad to welcome her back. Mental health wise, I've actually felt okay this week. I've not really noticed that I've been really one way or the other, just kind of like middle ground feeling okay. Um, I think it is very up and down and some days I feel just overwhelmed with how tired and exhausted I am. Um, but this week, thankfully, it hasn't affected my mood too much, which it has done in previous weeks. So I'm grateful for that. I also last week put out onto my Instagram about the experience that I'd had with the midwife when I was talking about my C-section and I just received and was inundated with messages of support and comfort and reassurance and I honestly can't thank everyone that reached out to me enough for all the kind words that I received but I'm feeling a lot more empowered now to go forwards and really advocate for myself and say this is what I want like I'm prepared with my reasons but also I know it's completely my choice um, and I have done some reading up on my specific trust and their approach to maternal request c-sections and I'm confident that they are it, like they're um, internal practices are in line with the NICE guidelines which state that if you request a c-section and you chat through with your obstetrician um, then they need to provide you with that c-section or to refer you to someone who will um, so I'm confident that my trust abides by those guidelines so I'm hoping that it won't be actually too difficult to get the go-ahead. I have um, had my referral through this week so just for context, I was referred to an obstetrician at eight weeks, which is when I mentioned that I wanted to have a C-section for this birth. And yeah, so I referred my referral letter in my 16th week. So it took about eight weeks to come through, but I guess it varies like trust to trust, hospital to hospital. Um, and that is going to be a telephone conversation at the beginning of September. So a little bit apprehensive about that. So that's it for appointments for a little while, I think. I've got my 20 week scan coming up in about two or three weeks time. And then I haven't got another appointment with my midwife until four weeks after that. So I think it's quite possible that I'll see the consultant in between. Um, and then I can give her the update from the consultant appointment. Um, but let me show you my bump this week. So bump to me is looking like I did in my first pregnancy at around 20 weeks. So 
I feel like I'm about four weeks ahead in what the size of my bump is, but I've been told that although it gets bigger quicker, it does like slow down towards the end. So I'm not expecting to be a lot bigger than I was with Grace. And by the end with Grace, I was like enormous. But even like looking in the mirror this week, um, when I've got out of the shower and stuff, I've noticed that, um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's almost like my body comes down and then you see like the start of the bump. It's like, like a line of, um, like imagine someone had, it's like really um, pronounced like breast implants where you see like the like natural shape of a woman's body and then like a big round bit coming out of it. That's what my bump has started to look like this week, which like I say, hadn't happened in my last pregnancy until I was about 20 weeks. Um, so yeah i am hoping that i slow down towards the end my stretch marks are becoming more like obvious now as well that i've not had any new ones but i did get quite a few in my last pregnancy from around 38 weeks um and i used all the creams and everything that you should use and drank loads and loads of water but i think some women are just genetically predisposed to having more stretch marks and i think i'm one of those women so I wonder how they'll like stretch out, whether they'll just re-stretch or maybe I'll grow some more. We will soon find out. So if I sound a bit bunged up by the way, like Grace brings home a new cold from nursery every week. I do lateral flow tests all the time. I'm confident it's not COVID, but also I just think pregnancy hormones and like all the mucus has built up in my face. And it's just, when I talk for a prolonged period of time, I get really bunged up and start to sound a little bit nasally. So I think that's everything for my 16 week update. Obviously I'll be back next week to update you on week 17. If you do want to follow along my pregnancy journey, then please consider subscribing and like and comment below to let me know how far along you are in your journey. If you're pregnant as well, then congratulations. I share loads of pregnancy content as well over on my Instagram. So go and check that out and I will see you next week. Bye.